Are we living in the dawn of a new space race? As borders stretch beyond our atmosphere, a cosmic chessboard emerges with new players vying for the ultimate prize. Our current age is marked by an exciting resurgence of space exploration. From the east to the west, nations and corporations alike are setting their sights on the stars, each with their own ambitions and strategies. The key players in this cosmic chess game are China, Russia, the United States, and private entities such as SpaceX. Each has a significant role on the board, and their moves are shaping the future of space exploration. China, an emerging powerhouse in space technology, is making strides with its lunar and Mars missions. In a strategic alliance, China is partnering with Russia to build an international lunar research station, a move that could significantly boost their presence on the moon and beyond. Russia, a veteran spacefarer, is leveraging its decades of experience in space exploration and its partnership with China to carve out a new role in this renewed space race. The United States, a long-standing leader in space exploration, is not far behind. NASA's Artemis program, ambitious and far-reaching, aims to land the first woman and the next man on the moon by 2024. This program has galvanized over 20 nations, making it a truly international endeavor. Private entities like SpaceX, led by visionary Elon Musk, are also making bold moves. With the goal of making life multiplanetary, SpaceX's Starship could potentially revolutionize space travel and even make NASA's space launch system obsolete if it proves to be more cost-effective and efficient. This cosmic chessboard is a complex web of competition and collaboration. While rivalry fuels innovation, cooperation paves the way for shared successes and breakthroughs. Each player's move, whether a launch or a partnership, has implications that ripple across the board, affecting the strategies of others. As the stakes rise, so do the tensions, creating an intricate dance of diplomacy and rivalry. Welcome to the new age of space exploration. In the midst of national efforts stand the titans of private industry, billionaires their eyes set on the stars are changing the rules of the game. These space explorers adorned in business suits rather than astronaut gear, are driving the new age of cosmic discovery. Private entities like SpaceX have catapulted into the forefront of space exploration, their innovative approaches sparking a new era of competition and progress. This isn't your grandpa's space race, it's a high-stakes game where the players are not countries but corporations. The involvement of these private entities helmed by billionaires like Elon Musk has undoubtedly ignited a flame under the traditional bureaucratic methods of space exploration. We're seeing rockets being developed at breakneck speeds, with ambitious plans like colonizing Mars no longer seeming like mere science fiction. The spirit of competition has spurred on rapid innovation, driving us further into the cosmos than ever before. But as with any game, there are critics on the sidelines. The controversy surrounding these private space giants often centers on the public funding they receive. Billions of taxpayer dollars have been funneled into these projects, leading some to question whether space is becoming a playground for the uber-wealthy, subsidized by the average citizen. Supporters argue that these investments are justified by the technological advancements and cost reductions these companies bring to the table. They point to the SpaceX Starship, a vessel that could potentially make NASA's space launch system obsolete, as evidence of the progress being made. Yet amid the cheers of supporters and the boos of critics, a fundamental question is beginning to echo throughout society. Are we witnessing the privatization of space? As private entities continue to push the boundaries of what's possible, this question will only grow louder. With the SpaceX Starship potentially making NASA's space launch system obsolete, the question remains, are we witnessing the privatization of space? The Moon, our celestial neighbor, has once again become the focus of global attention. But this time, the race is not about planting a flag, it's about establishing a permanent presence. For decades, the moon remained a silent sentinel in our night sky, a testament to our first steps beyond the confines of our home planet. Now as we gaze upon its familiar face, we are reminded that it holds the key to our future in space. The moon is no longer just a destination, it's a stepping stone, a springboard to the stars. NASA, the pioneer in lunar exploration has set its sights on the moon's south pole. The Artemis program Gathering Momentum is an international effort involving over 20 nations. Their goal? To establish a sustainable human presence on the moon by the late 2020s. The moon base would serve as a critical outpost for future crewed missions to Mars, turning science fiction into reality. But NASA is not alone in this endeavor. 
China, partnering with Russia, is planning to build an international lunar research station. This Sino-Russian alliance poses a formidable challenge, marking a new phase in the space race. The moon has become a cosmic chessboard with superpowers positioning their pieces for strategic advantage. The stakes are high and the moon's resources and strategic location are prized assets. It could serve as a launch pad for missions to Mars and beyond. The moon's south pole, rich in water ice, could provide life-sustaining resources and fuel for deep space exploration. As we venture into this new frontier, we are reminded of the words of President John F. Kennedy who once said, We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. The challenge of the moon is a testament to our indomitable spirit, our curiosity, and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. As the moon becomes the next frontier, the race is on to secure an early lead. Beyond the moon, Mars beckons. As the red planet remains an elusive goal, the question of who will be the first to land humans there remains uncertain. The plans are grand, the stakes are high, and the challenges are immense. The exploration of Mars is not just about planting a flag or leaving a footprint, it's about extending the reach of human civilization and understanding our place in the universe. It's about answering age-old questions. Are we alone? Could there be life on other planets? Several nations including the United States and China are making strides towards this ultimate objective. NASA's Artemis program, once aimed solely at returning humans to the moon, is now seen as a stepping stone for an even more ambitious mission, sending humans to Mars. The challenges are daunting. Mars is over a hundred times farther away from us than the moon. It has a thin atmosphere, cold temperatures, and a surface strewn with potential hazards. Yet, the potential rewards are monumental. Mars may hold clues about the early history of our solar system, and potentially, the origins of life itself. China and Russia are also eyeing this prize. Their proposed International Lunar Research Station is not only a bid for lunar exploration, but also a potential launch pad for Mars. The competition is fierce, but it's not just about being the first. It's about the scientific discoveries, the technological advancements, and the potential for human colonization. SpaceX, under the helm of Elon Musk, is also in the running with its reusable Starship spacecraft. Musk's vision is not just about reaching Mars but about making life multiplanetary. His plans include establishing a self-sustaining colony on Mars, a feat that would redefine humanity's future. The ultimate race is seen as who will be the first nation on Mars. But as we reach further into the cosmos we must ask, are we ready for the implications? In the vast expanse of the cosmos, political tensions from Earth have an echo. As we venture further into space, diplomacy becomes an essential tool for peaceful exploration. The universe is an infinite playground, a place where the rules of terrestrial politics don't necessarily apply. Yet, it's clear that the same territorial instincts that have driven conflict on Earth are beginning to manifest in space. The challenge of maintaining neutral territory in space is a daunting one. Unlike Earth with its clearly defined borders, the celestial realm is boundless. The question then arises, how do we carve up the cosmos without sparking extraterrestrial tensions? The answer may lie in international cooperation and shared goals. It's important to remember that space exploration isn't a zero-sum game. There's enough room out there for all of us. The key is to navigate these celestial expanses with a spirit of collaboration rather than competition. Space is a shared resource, one that offers boundless opportunities for scientific discovery, technological advancement and human progress. We must approach it with a sense of collective ownership and mutual respect. Despite political tensions on Earth, the importance of international cooperation in space exploration cannot be overstated. The desire to explore the cosmos is a universal one, cutting across national boundaries and political ideologies. It's a goal that unites us, that compels us to look beyond our differences and work together. Space exploration represents a new frontier, a realm where the usual rules of geopolitics are suspended, at least in theory. In practice, the politics of space is a complex web of competing interests, technological rivalries and diplomatic negotiations. Yet, it's also a realm of shared aspirations, a testament to our collective hunger for knowledge and our capacity for cooperation. As we stand on the threshold of a new era, the cosmic chessboard awaits the next move. Who will make it and what will it mean for the future of space exploration? Only time will tell.